we are off to the grocery store and you can come along with us. But we are one step closer. We're all in this together. Put your hand in mine. Yeah, we are one step closer. Can you feel it, baby? It's the end of the line. It looks like we made it. Welcome. My name is Patrice and I am on a journey to live a healthy, sustainable life. One day at a time, one step at a time. I have my daughter with me back there. We are off to the grocery store because we just got back. Well, not just got back. We got back a couple days ago um, from a vacation. I didn't grocery shop before the vacation, so I need to go grocery shopping now. So come along with me. See what I get from the grocery store. I think I'm going to go to Walmart and Aldi's. Y'all know I love Aldi's. That's my little go-to spot for the goodies, for the low, low. So let's go to all these and see what, well, Walmart first. I think I'm going to go to Walmart first. So I got to get a good bit of stuff from Walmart. Not a good, well, we'll see. Let's just see what we get. And then I will show you guys everything when we get back home. So I'm going to start at the back of the store. Like where the water and things are at. Then I'll work my way back up. Everybody must have started buying the soda waters, or what I call the soda waters. So these things right here. Y'all get these things? Clear American and zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sodium. I mean, my kids, they call them soda waters. I know they have the aspartame and all that stuff, but my kids love them. But everybody must have started getting them because they don't have any more of the can so we, we like to get the can version instead of the bottle but i'll get the bottle today and they can drink one a day and that'll be enough We've got nine so nine will be enough for four days just couldn't get enough of me and followed me to the grocery store. Followed me to the grocery store. <laughs> get me in trouble these cherries they get me in trouble because I can't stop eating them once I get eat one I can't stop so I'm gonna leave these where they at in the store <laughs> okay we went to Walmart we went to all these listen it's hot and packed in there so I got as much footage as I can without people looking at me like I was crazy right <laughs> but once I get home and get everything unpacked I will show you guys what we got so I'm home from the grocery store somebody beat me back home and he is cooking let's see what we are having for dinner it looks like we are having what some chicken wings but they are Chinese, Chinese chicken wings and these are his ingredients so i'll show y'all a picture of it when it's done he's doing chinese chicken wings follow him on tiktok i'll put up his tiktok name too <laughs> so let's just start the grocery haul and, and i'll show you what i got let's start with walmart so from walmart for the kids i did get uh frosted flakes and I get the big bags of frosted, like the big bags of cereal, and then I pour these into different containers. And I'll show a picture of, of the containers that I use, and I'll link them down below. So I got them from Amazon, but I got frosted flakes, cocoa pebbles, and fruity pebbles. And then they also got the uh, 46 bag of these different chips and that's for snacks it's summertime and they need some snacks all right i got the bread that i always get for them and then i got this bread right here too because it said 
it was sugar free <laughs> and I wanted to try it out but it's a hundred green it's by nature's own and it actually had it said it has um, where was it four grams of protein so that's what I was interested in because it had more grams of protein than this one and this one has uh, two grams of protein per slice so I am starting to work on my protein intake, intake more so when I have a sandwich this would be good with an egg sandwich so I got two things of 18 count eggs from Walmart then we got the Walmart brand um listen y'all gonna see a lot of great value but we got the great value honey ham then he sliced the great value turkey breast and this is for sandwiches for the kids oh um I did get a what is that a 40 40 count of water from Walmart and then we have these that we like to put inside our waters and I like this to travel with these little things I get these from Walmart all these wherever I can get them from I got two of the crush for the kids also got some uh, popsicles what do y'all call these I call we call these popsicles what are they called let's see what they're called I know they're called different things in different places, but this is called Fun Pops, but we call them Popsicles. So got that. Put those in the freezer and let those chill, and they can get those, because it is hot here in South Carolina. Um, and then we call these Soda Waters, and these are really good. They're clear, it's by Clear American Brand. It's peach flavor, and I got the peach flavor, the mandarin orange flavor, and the uh, Fuji apple flavor. But these, zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine. I know they have artificial sweetener in it. So yes, that's, that's, that's a given. But this is good for the kids. They, we usually get the um, canned ones. It comes like a 12 pack, but they didn't have any more because everybody else, I guess, is getting two. But this is a better alternative than regular soda. So those are for the kids to drink. My husband already opened one. Here in the South, we like sweet tea, but we we started drinking the, these um, this brand of sweet tea, Milo's. I would say what about a year ago? Probably about a year ago, and a zero calories, zero sugar. So this is a better alternative. Um, this is a good alternative for sweet tea because if you are from the South, you know that everybody likes their sweet tea. So we got two of these, and when I was in the store and I saw somebody our guest who appeared out of nowhere right he already had two of these in his car but he put them back because I had two of them in my car as well and then I always get two percent milk I don't like I don't really drink milk but I've turned everybody else to two percent milk because whole milk is just too thick for me what else let's see so from Walmart I got some carrots so I'm gonna juice, <clears throat> and I like, you know, I like to juice my carrots and oranges um, and apples. I got that for that. I got some cucumber, because I like to put some green inside those juices as well. So I got three cucumbers. Bananas from Walmart. So I got the salsa from, oh, where did we go at? Bucky's the other day uh, on our vacation, and Sorry, it's upside down. And I got some chips to go with it. And I wanted the, this style, the thin and crispy, catatina style, so I got that too. And like I said, the great value, because these were $1.98, when the other bag was like $4, so I was like, mm-mm, great value. I got four avocados, two bags of fresh spinach, I got some California vegetable mix, so when I do my um, meal preps, I got two bags of that. And then I got this too because uh, this was in the frozen section. It's already cut up onion, celery, and red pepper, so when I'm ready to do my meal prep, I can uh, use this. And for my meal prep, my, so the meat, my husband did get chicken breast when he, before he left out the store, and so um, I can use that for meal prep. And if I have a nice little meal prep or a nice meal that I make for meal prep, I'll show it in another video. 
And the last thing from Walmart was um, some shredded lettuce. That can go on sandwiches. That can go, um, you know, with anything. <laughs> all right, so that's all from Walmart. And that was like 100 and... I don't even know what my receipt is, but I was think that was a hundred and sixty something dollars. So all this from Walmart, one hundred and sixty dollars. All right, and then all these. So from all these, we got some tropical blend fruit, the mixed fruit. So the mix is strawberry, peaches, pineapple, and mango, and then the tropical blend, uh, blend has some papaya in it. We got some boneless chicken tenders I like these because you can cook these real fast um, on the stove so I got that I got some apples and oranges for my juice and then I got another bag of oranges that they can use for snack some pretzel thins I got the original brand uh, the original flavor as well as the everything flavor I guess they don't want to copy the everything but the bagel sand so they just say everything <laughs> But it is, well, we have a bagel right here. So, well, no, that's not a bagel. Well, it tastes like the everything but the bagel seasoning. So, got that. And I, I like to use that with um, almond butter, or this one, with almond butter. And then I might use this with that salsa from Buck, Bucky's. And my daughter wanted to get some bagels. So, she got the bagel skinnies. And she is doing good because look at which one she got she got the bagel skinnies instead of the regular bagels i didn't even pick this out for her so she is doing her own health journey as well and she wanted some bagels so she got that and see when you are doing what you are doing then it falls back to your loved ones so good choice and then she got cream cheese to go with that i just got some ranch dressing because they like to put ranch on different things so got that uh, some spring mix, Italian salad mix, and some lemons that can go in my uh, juice as well just to have for other things. We got some grapes, some strawberries, some blueberries. The blueberries are for my Greek yogurt, and then I also got a Greek yogurt for my uh, that I use with my granola. I use the Greek yogurt with granola. And then some berries on top. That is so good. And then I got another thing of Greek yogurt because I use that for my smoothies in the morning. I just wanted to get some of this because I saw it when I was walking. And I love chicken salad, especially the cranberry and almond kind. So got that. Seven grams of protein. <laughs> and then I bought some protein bars because I'm just when I'm snacking or needs a snack. Um, this is, I was like, okay, let me try this. I use Elevation brand for my uh, protein mix anyway. And so this should taste good. So this is a chocolate peanut butter flavor. It has 20 grams of protein. We'll see how it tastes. And then I got this one as well. The ch caramel chocolate nuts. And this has 24 grams of protein. And then the cookies and cream. This has 19 grams of protein. What else? Oh, and the last thing that I picked up from all these, it was a last minute thing when I was over there getting the um, chicken tenderloins, is this uh, tuna steak. So I can use this and make a, um, what do you call those bowls? What do you call those bowls? A poke bowl? P-O-K-E, a poke, poke. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I can make my own poke bowl and put tuna on top or just you know a little rice bowl and put some brown rice and some um ooh, 29 grams of protein some brown rice some salad mix oh this would be good even with um what is that some quinoa some quinoa instead of the rice maybe put some beans in it this would be a good meal prep to show you guys. When I do it, I'm going to show you, okay? So, oh, and then did I say grapes? If I didn't, we got grapes. So all that from Aldi's, and Aldi's came to 80-something dollars. I forgot, 80-something dollars from Aldi's. So that is my grocery haul for after coming back from vacation. 
and not having anything in the house. So y'all know all these is my go-to, so I had to go by there. But I needed those other things from Walmart. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found something that you might need to run to the grocery store for. So go ahead and run to the grocery store and then I'll meet you back in the next video. <laughs> but as always, guys, I thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, your support. I thank you for watching yet another one of my videos. And until the next time, I love you guys and God bless. Oh,